evening, Goliath. I trust that your stay has been nothing but smooth sailing thus far. <laughs> I know you're awake. I could hear your little pets from a mile away, so do not ignore me. So be it. Now, look at me. <laughs> it's like those toys children like to play with. Their technology is so primitive that they take their time to react to your words. But a little smack, and they get right to work. Do you have any children, Goliath? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. You could never bear children even if you wanted to. Why are you here? I'd say it's more appropriate to ask what rather than what. Why? Because you know why I'm here. <laughs> I've come here today because I've been cooking up a bit of a gift. A reward for my transgressions. That's new. <laughs> There's nothing rewarding about this gift. It's not even for you. Rather, it's for the people to see what you've become. A free beast, now shackled in the world you swore to take. Not an unfitting analogy. So you confess? No. A shame. In that case, let us begin. <laughs> Why can't I? Simply put, we can't have you struggling while we perform our little personal project. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> That's better. We just want to know what's going on in that head of yours. That knowledge. That power. What gives you that right? Technically nothing. But these are our and you have no right to defy. This is unjust. Agnostic. Unjust? I beg to differ. But agnostic is more appropriate. For you are not our god. You do not have a say in our lives and prosperity. Especially now. You are but one. You call this... Prosperity. <laughs> this just shows how little you understand. You would be surprised. You think because you were granted the blessing of an inferior symbol that you hold higher authority than us? What purpose is there in being better than another? Everything! This... This is exactly what we mean. You... Years, decades, centuries have lived in utter majesty, but you never had the strength to admit it. <laughs> what? Am I humoring you? <laughs> Silence! <laughs> missing something, or have we already broken you to insanity? You are a complete fucking moron. I beg your pardon? If there is anyone more insane in this room, it's you. Completely corrupted by everything leading up to this day. And all you can do is embrace it. Not because you saw it as the truth, 
but because you're the one who needs to be better. <laughs> You've spoken enough. And somehow, I'm the monster. Enough stalling. There is much to be done. Knowing you, this should only hurt. I do hope it hurts good. Well, as much as I've had my fair share of enjoyment tonight, I'm afraid all good things must come to an end. Hmm? Well now, it appears like any animal, the beast, is tuckered out. <laughs> if it were anyone else, they wouldn't have lasted as long as you have. With that, I will take my leave. Do what you wish. Why? Why do you refuse to resist? Believe that everything is righteous. Do you even feel sympathy for those who struggle? Perhaps not. Just speaking. What? They're speaking. Are, are they... Despite their thoughts, they still sense your presence is dangerous. You stayed. Why? I needed a moment. A moment for? For me to understand. They've... They've talked about the story since you came here. About the depths and their... Your people. Twisted asunder, I presume. Everyone else doesn't believe so. And what of you? We're expected not to. If we even thought about it, they'd either see it as a treacherous act. How ironic. Spreading lies for the sake of control. And they call the truth treacherous. That's what I wanted to know. No one's ever tried to hear you out since you came here. You're offering to help me. I... I can't. They'd kill me. Then maybe for your own sake, you should leave. Tell me, what happened on that day? Please. Perhaps another day. I'm too tired. I... I understand. I'm 
Sorry, they did this to you. It didn't hurt as much as you think. No, I mean, with you being here. It's not uncommon for actions to be unforgiven, regardless of the intent. But it wasn't deserved. Deserved? Undeserved? Here I lay regardless. I hope one day they'll see the real truth. A lovely fantasy to think about. Your name. Tell me. Karma. An intriguing one. How so? Just reminds me of home. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Rest well, Karma. Same with you, woman child. Call me Goliath. <laughs> Definitely a better name for you. That's for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. A hard trait to keep in a world like this. Such is the cruelty of this place. It... <laughs> My eye... feels like it's burning up. Like some kind of energy is emitting from it. What is this? You're a part of me. How can you deny this? Then... We should let this rest. Whatever it is. It can wait.